ni Chef Lipatan para sa kanyang pasimulang mensahe para sa inyong lahat at para basahin ang mensahe ng mahal na pinuno Pangulong Rodrigo Roma Duterte sa pagkunita ng ating araw ng kalayaan. At this moment, I have the honor to call to the front the Ambassador of the Philippines to Switzerland and Liechtenstein for his welcome remarks. Mr. Ambassador. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay kayo. Warmest welcome to all of you to the Philippine Embassy in Bern on this national occasion. Allow me to acknowledge some of our uh, important guests. Uh, later, uh, Dr. Raul Sunico, piano virtuoso and renowned Filipino artist will come from Geneva and conduct a workshop on Filipino music this afternoon. We also have with us uh, Mr. Christopher Om Arceo, musical director of the Alaron Choir of Ateneo. They represented the country in several European choir competitions, and I heard they won the uh, overall prize at the uh, Limburg competition in uh, Germany. Uh, is there a, where are the uh, Aleron. Aleron group? Maybe we can give them a, a hand. Okay, Aleron. So congratulations for winning the overall prize at the uh, Lindbergh competition in uh, Germany. Finally, uh, I would like to acknowledge Mr. Uh, Domingo Domingo. He is a chef par excellence and co-owner of uh, restaurant Milsons. He has exhausted his culinary skills to provide us with a sampling of the culinary masterpieces that he serves his regular clientele that includes high officials of the Swiss Federal Council as well as the Federal Parliament, not to mention visiting officials from the Philippines. It is also my pleasure to express appreciation to our today's performers, the Filipino Swiss youth who sang Bayanko and Ako Ay Filipino. I salute them for volunteering to perform for us today despite limited time to practice. Our heartfelt appreciation also goes to the Filipino children, including their parents, of course, who encourage and accompany them to practice. And finally, uh, the Filipinas choral group who will give the rendition of various Filipino folk songs for today's event. But most especially, I would like to thank each and every one of you for sparing one day of your precious weekend to join us in commemorating the Declaration of Independence of the Filipino people. Many of you have come from far away, and many of you have to wake up early to come here. We also have to face the prospect of rain. I am sure that the effort requires a bit of courage and sacrifice for all of us, but it shows that the spirit of the nation is still alive and well among Filipinos in Switzerland and Liechtenstein, despite years of absence from the home country. There is an old song that was the favorite of my parents that ends with the following lines, Filipino feet across the continents may roam but the soul of the islander over ocean back home comes. The soul of the Filipino, wherever he or she may be, will always go back to their home in the islands we call the Philippines. Seeing all of you today makes my belief in those lines even stronger. The independence we declared in 1898 was actually short-lived and it took more than half a century 58 years to be exact before we regained the independence and sovereignty of the nation on 4 July 1946 so why celebrate 12 June 1898 one of some may ask the answer is because 
that day was the watershed in Philippine history when the Filipino people solemnly expressed their will and determination to be a free and independent nation. That will and determination did not waver despite various setbacks, several bloody wars, and the darkest periods in Philippine history. It was the will and determination of the people that made us a nation. Isang bansa, isang diwa. Without the will and determination of the people, the Philippines will just be a spring feeling of tropical islands in the vast open sea. Today, we unfurled the Philippine flag to recall that momentous day when the Filipino people expressed their will and determination. Today, we also raise the Philippine flag. A flag flying on a pole is the mark of a sovereign and independent nation. When you look at our flag flying on the pole, remember that it is the fruit of the sacrifice, the blood, sweat, and tears of countless Filipinos. Their names will not be recorded in the history books, but let us keep them in our hearts and be proud to be a Filipino. As Filipinos, let us hold our heads up high. Alta la terza frente, in the words of Jose Rizal in his poem, Mi ultimo adios. Ta taas noo kahit kanino, as we sang earlier with the Filipino Swiss Youth Choir. On this note, I will now read the Independence Day message of His Excellency Rodrigo Roba Duterte, President of the Republic of the Philippines. Malacanang Palace, Manila, and the message reads, I am one with the Filipino people in commemorating the anniversary of the proclamation of Philippine independence. 121 years has passed since our forefathers bound their fates, their lives, and their fortunes to proclaim the independence of the Filipino people. It was the most significant event in our country's history, not only to be put an end to more than three centuries of subservience, but we also resolved to determine the course of our own destiny as a nation. But the freedom we achieved back then was not without cost. The tree of liberty blossomed in these lands because it was nourished by the sweat and the blood of our patriots, heroes, and martyrs. Let us commit ourselves to ensure that their sacrifices have not been in vain and that their dream of a truly independent Philippines whose people live freely in a secure, stable, and prosperous society will be achieved within our lifetimes. May we have a solemn and meaningful observance. Signed, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Manila, 12 June 2019. po kayo. Maraming Thank you, Ambassador Lapatan. Uh, Inaanyayahan po natin ngayon dito sa harap ang mga batang Pilipino upang tayo ay paunlakan ng dalawang awit. May we now invite our Filipino children to the front to render us, uh, for us, two songs. They are Maria Sofia Santos, Juliana Marbach, MJ Rehino, Zia Rehino, Edsel Andres, John Michael Ferrer, Michael Beery, Alexander Graf, Eureka Mira Kandare. Brenna Cole, Bianca Cole, Marian Shali, Krista Howell, Peter Nakbar, James Kyle Mero, John Andre Rotlisberger, Eliana Rotlisberger, Sophie Bartolome, Lauren Bartolome, Alexandria Bartel, Mara Jade Santo Domingo, at Chan Mark Banaan. A warm round of applause, please. 